Hey guys, it's another tutorial video here. Today we're going to learn how to do a color splash. So normally I tell you to drag and drop a photo onto Photoshop, but let's just do it normally by going to File, Open, and in your tutorial folder you should see a picture of this fruit or something similar. Go ahead and open that up. Now when we start here, I normally tell you to drag this down here onto uh, a new layer but this time what I want you to do is to double click on this little lock layer here and then click OK. It's going to create a new layer for us and then you can right click on this new layer and select duplicate layer. Okay, So right click on this duplicate layer and then click OK. Now you have two different layers. Let's rename them. Remember, renaming is a good idea for us. It makes it keeps everything very neat and organized. So let's double click on the layer. If it's a little tricky, make sure your your finger pointer is on the letters and double click. And we're going to name the bottom one B W for black and white. And then we're going to name the top one, double click on that one, color. Next what we're going to do is we're going to click the little eyeball on the color layer. Okay, that one right there, click on it. And then select the BW, the black and white layer. Next we're going to do is we're going to go to image on the top left, adjustments, black and white. Okay. This has, you know, basically made the photo black and white. The next thing you can do is pull the reds to the left, okay, the red color. It's going to add a little more contrast for us there. And then you can kind of tweak around the uh, settings here, whichever you like. Maybe that's okay for you. Then click OK. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock or we're going to reshow the top layer. So let's click on the color layer, turn on the eyeball, and now we can see the top layer. Remember, Photoshop works in layers. The next thing is, we're going to take the er eraser tool. The shortcut key for eraser tool is the letter E on your keyboard if you ever want to reach for that. Making sure that we're selecting the top layer, the color layer, we have our, br our eraser tool selected. We can just start erasing the top layer, which has the color. So as we're erasing the top color, the black and white layer below is appearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this part here visible to me only. And I'm going to adjust my brush size by hitting the right bracket key to help speed this up. Okay. Remember, make sure you learn those shortcut keys. And then I'm going to shrink with the left bracket key. And I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to hold the letter Z and, and slide my mouse to the right, holding the, holding the click down and zooming in a bit to help me see. And then use the space bar and um, moving with the mouse. Hit the E key again, the eraser key, or the little icon there for the eraser tool, and keep going. If you notice that you accidentally did too much, you can click Control Z to undo, or you can click on your history, which should appear here, and go back a couple of clicks. And you can see when you are doing all the eraser features, you can select right here on your history. So let's keep it up. And you get the idea. You can keep going and making this a lot better and a lot neater. But that's the general idea. Let's zoom out. And there you go. So just make sure you go to File. Once you're done, Save As. Color it, call it um, Color Splash. And then your name. And hit Save in your, fol in your, um, in your folder um, in the video storage file. That's it. That's Color Splash. Um, you can definitely try it on other things that you're interested in doing. 